Development of Embryos Now let us learn about development of embryos in humans and hence in this module. In humans, as a result of fertilization which occurs in fallopian tubes, zygote is formed and this zygote is a single cell formed by the fusion of matured egg cell and the sperm cell. This zygote divides repeatedly to give rise to a ball of cells which further form into groups and these groups will develop into different tissues and organs of the body. This developing structure is called as embryo. This embryo gets implanted in the walls of the uterus where further development takes place. The embryo will gradually develop all the body parts like heart, kidneys, lungs, ears, eyes, hands, legs and this result is a formation of fetus. The stage of the embryo in which all the body parts can be identified is called a fetus. The gestation period in human beings is around 270 to 280 days. In the gestation period, the complete development of the fetus takes place and after the completion of the gestation period, the mother gives birth to the baby. This is how development of embryo takes place in humans. Now let us learn about how development of embryo takes place in hens. As we learnt in the previous module, in hens, internal fertilization takes place, which means the fusion of the male and female gametes take place inside the female body. Soon after fertilization, the zygote divides repeatedly and passes down the oviduct and many protective layers are formed around it while it travels through oviduct. The hard shell that we see in a hen's egg is one such protective layer. The hen lays the egg with protective shells around them. These eggs or embryos will develop into a chick within three weeks. The hen will provide sufficient heat for the development of eggs by sitting on them. After the chick is completely developed, it bursts open the eggshell. The animals which give birth to young ones are called viviparous animals. Dogs, cats, humans, cows, sheep, goats, etc. are some of the viviparous animals. Those animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animals. Hence, crows, parrots are some of the examples of oviparous animals.